guys doing out here? We would rather you talk to a person of color. Do what? We're not gonna talk to the media. We ask them to talk to people of color. People of color? Okay. So, uh, the white people are telling journalists to go speak to people of color because they have no rights to speak here, apparently. <laughs> Jesus, this is, a, this is the kind of world we live in right now. <laughs> Why are you carrying the Chinese flag? Because I'm a Maoist. Why are you a Maoist? Like, why, why, why does this organization, uh, this Occupy Wall Street, appeal to you? It appeals to me because I got screwed over by the capitalist system myself. I lost my job last year because I wanted to transition from male to female with my gender identity. But how did the capitalist system make you lose your job? You have, you have a boss that doesn't believe I'm a human being. I, I don't, it's China. How, how would like how would they treat you in China if you tried to do that? If Maoism is so good, if the party stayed true and didn't become revisionist, they would treat me like a human being. So like the Stalinists and those people that killed millions of people. So you support that that policy? You don't have they, you don't have the uh, figures to back up. You know, they're made up. You've been reading the Black Book of Communism or something like that. Hi. Hello. Okay. Um, my name is Tanay. I'm the current president of our NAACP chapter. Great. And so I just have a few questions. During your entire presentation, I noticed that you failed to mention that feminism is the belief that men and women are equal. So do you not think this? And then also, I noticed when you were talking about America's values and about how great America is, yep. you failed to mention that our nation was built on the power of white men without the acknowledgement of black people, the Indians, women at least. So do you not think that men and women are equal? Do you not acknowledge the problems that we have here in America that does, in fact, not make America great? All right. Um, no, no, no. Let's be respectful. I mean, let's be not triggered. I understand no, 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 how to no, no, handle no. myself, a, unlike some Trump guys, supporters. Guys, guys, guys. It was, a, so. it was a perfectly reasonable, respectful question. Let's be respectful. Thank you. Um, on the first half of your question, women don't agree with you. Uh, fewer than one in five women in America describes themselves as a feminist, even mm. though over 85% of them believe in inequality between the sexes. Why? Because they know that feminism has become something different now. They know that the feminism you're talking about, it's very convenient, isn't it, to sort of treat men like shit, and then when people say, I'm not a feminist, say, oh, but feminism's out of quality. That's not what feminism has become. It's not what feminism is anymore. Feminism is a mean, vindictive, spiteful, nasty, man-hating philosophy. So that why has very would you Well, let me finish, because I let you finish, okay? okay. Um, that has very little to do with the equality of the sexes and a lot to do with man-hating. And the way that you know that is women are abandoning it in their millions. Women don't want feminism anymore. They have rejected your version completely. They don't agree with you. In the UK, the numbers are even worse. Just 7% of women in the UK describe themselves as feminist, despite the fact that 92% of women, in, uh, of women in, in the UK believe in equality of the sexes. It's very clear what's happening. They don't believe that those two things mean the same, because if they did, they'd give the pollsters the same answer to, the, to the, both those questions. Women know that feminists say one thing and do another. Women know that the primary purpose of feminism these days isn't to promote equality, it is to beat down on men. So you've lost, you know, you have a big PR problem on your hands. And when you come up and say, you know, well, how dare you not mention that it's actually just about quality of the sexes. Don't you believe in equality of the sexes? I very clearly said in my speech for multiple times that I do and that I love women, that I care about them. But, um, you know, this sleight of hand that feminists play when they're perfectly happy to treat men like shit and, and, and spread these conspiracy theories about the patriarchy, these lies about the wage gap, lies about campus rape culture, and then turn around and play the victim and play innocent and say, oh, feminism is just about equality. Give me a break. Give me a break. So, <laughs> as to your, as to your s second part of your question, um, I, I, get some, I get some shit from conservatives for this answer, by the way, but I agree with you. I agree with you that there are structural historical problems in this country. Um, I agree with you that black community has been treated like hell by both Democrats and Republicans. I just don't think Black Lives Matter is the answer. Um, I don't think that throwing your toys out the pram and burning your own cities is the answer. I think better schools would help. And I think if black people really wanted to improve their lot and improve their situation, they would start voting for Republicans. Because when they do, and when people police properly, black lives are saved. Bill Clinton, who signed the crime bill in, which took 
thousands of black dads out of families and threw them in jail. The terrible, pointless, awful war on, war on drugs, right? Um, replacing you know, the, the, the black dad with the state, which is what Democrats have systematically tried to do to you guys for generations. And Black Lives Matter's response isn't to say, we're going to try voting for the other guys because 40, 40 years of this hasn't worked. What we want is better schools so that a poor black child who is smart could go to Harvard. They don't do that. They cause a fuss, they block a road, and they burn their own towns down. So yeah, I agree with you there's a problem. But I, I think we probably have very, very different prescriptions for that. I want, Isabel, okay. I want to get paid the same as a man, and I think you understand that. So if you become president, will a woman make the same as a man, and do I get to choose what I do with my body? Isabel? You're going to make the same if you do as good a job. Can you really call it a culture? For example, we've got some people who speak Spanish in Canada, but that's, we don't live in a Spanish culture. So some rapes happen, but we don't live in a rape culture. We don't live in a culture that supports rapists. You, like, of course we live in a rape culture. Like, of course we do. This is a rape culture. What we live in today is a rape culture. And that's what needs to stop. And what does the media and our politicians do to help rapists? More lenient sentences, um, a slap on the wrist, which happens all the time. Okay, give me some examples of that. You know, I'm not, I, I'm not here to give you specific examples, Lauren, but I know that you know, and I know from experience from watching you, that you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I don't, and I don't need to go into details uh, because I don't have any specifics. We allow, it's a public place. Make America great again. She's completely freaking out. We allow out to film whatever. You know? Support a political candidate. You're not allowed to share hate language in this, the university. I'm saying make what America is hate great. language about this that? Is what is hate language about? You don't care. I want to hear. Make America great again means make America all for white people, no immigrants, no people of no, different sexual orientation. His, no. his wife is an immigrant. His wife is an immigrant. That illegal. doesn't mean anything. How is it not? You just said no immigrants. It doesn't mean anything. I could have a brother who's gay and I could not be supportive of gay people. It doesn't mean anything. Your values So why is he say, You just say he doesn't like immigrants. His wife's an immigrant. It's le illegal immigrants that he you're doesn't not, want. You're not even illegal. connecting. You're how, not how, even what's connecting you're saying he, I asked you, does he not like immigrants? You're like, he doesn't like immigrants. Just because he's married to an immigrant doesn't mean that his policies and what he stands for is promoting people of different colors being in our country. It's United illegal States. immigrants. Keep wearing the hat, man. That's awesome. He doesn't Thanks. hate anyone. Yeah, no, illegal immigrants. Illegal. Illegal immigrants. Listen, dude, like, we're friends and I level with you, but like, you've got to take the hat off or I'm going to rape the president of the university and he's going to come and talk to you because I already talked to him about this. It's not allowed. It's hate language on campus. You can deal with me or you can deal with David Doherty. I waited to talk to you in person and I've already talked to him about this. You can laugh because it's so going to happen. And I can't wait for him to come He's to He's wearing a hat that he wants to wear. What is wrong with the hat? I'm not what allowed to wear a shirt. I'm not allowed to wear a shirt. Yeah, no, Yo, let's go. This is ridiculous. Okay, You're you can all, come this with is me just now a... and you can see. Huh? Make America great again. It's a hat. He's wearing a hat. It's Trump doesn't hat. hate it's immigrants. So much more. It's so hey, how much is it so much more? You don't know anything about Trump. Away. You don't know anything. You don't Can know you one little thing. Okay. Please. Sure. Keep wearing the hammock, keep wearing the hat. Is that what you want? That is insane. This is all on camera. Yo, keep wearing that hat. If I had my Trump stuff, this girl is just fucking You are supporting the hat. Dude, so you if you want me to come off. talk to David, I will. You gotta take Make it America off. Why does he have to take it off? Do me because a favor, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just please stop. Stop. Yo, give him the hat back. I'm keeping it. Um, snowflake mentality is one that deserves to trigger warnings, safe spaces, things of that nature that we don't necessarily believe in. We believe in freedom of thought, and we believe that you should be able to voice your opinion without being shut down by the other side like we've seen at campuses. My family has not amassed enough wealth since they came out of chattel slavery to literally pay for my education, so I go into debt and I graduate with a huge amount of debt when my white counterparts do not.
Um, well, yeah, I know white people go into debt too. It's exactly. not just, I'm, I'm in debt, I am paying for my Like that's what I gotta deal with going to class as a black female at the University of Kansas. I gotta deal with walking by a white man testing up safe space stickers. Mm-hmm. Yes, we share space. So regardless if you guys think that freedom of speech allows you to spew hatred, it isn't allowed. There's like something, matter of fact, since you look things up, Title IX is probably pretty key for y'all to look up. My pronouns are they. They. So for, from now on, when you refer to them, you use they, them, there, because we've shown you the respect to refer to you by your name. So from now on, you will refer to them as they, because that is the appropriate thing to do when you are above the age of fucking 12. Hey, and you can stand there and smirk, we can take it from you. That's what y'all felt in the real life. People of color, marginalized identities, we can take it from you. That's what y'all thinking. See, that's yeah, privilege. Right. I'm sure you're the okay. thing. That's called white fragility. So well. then, my question is, you say freedom of speech. It's called white fragility. That's actually the rest term, of the letter, so not right. opinion. What okay, you know. White fragility, defensiveness, Ooh, when you are right attacked there. about your privilege. And I'll even say attack because of the tone I'm talking to you in. Like I said, white fragility. Look at the fuck up. You do care about your whiteness because you're trying to save it. But this group saying safe spaces shouldn't exist. It's not your right to say that safe spaces should not exist. It's a, it hey, please a, do not interrupt. Not 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 my intellectual safe space is the idea that you can't retreat I'm not retreating. I'm making myself safe and comfortable. That's fine. You're living. What are you doing as a white person who has the privilege to walk into a classroom and be automatically respected because you were born with a dick? We deserve benefits because you enslaved us for 400 years. It's called accommodation for the disenfranchised. Your ancestors and you still reap the benefits. You still reap the privilege of the genocide of Native Americans and the slavery. People are not illegal. People may be undocumented. Gender term. Well, and and that don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that, and I won't respond correctly. Don't clap your hands at her. That's a bad mistake. Yes, as long as you. It's not. Let me get this clear real quick before I leave. It's not a disagreement of whether you're a white supremacist or not. If you believe in this snowflake bullshit, if you believe that there should not be safe spaces on this campus, if you believe that there is not institutional racism on this campus, that is you not recognizing your white privilege, the privilege that you have to walk on this campus, to walk into any store, to do anything. To walk on this campus. No. I have the same privilege. You're gonna fucking tell me I have the same privilege because when you walk from fucking the union anywhere, did you get stopped by anyone? No one cat called you. No one said, show me that you're a real woman. Yes, you admitted that it was horrible, but what are you doing to change it? appeal to you. It appeals to me because I got screwed over by the capitalist system myself. I lost my job last year because I wanted to transition from male to female with my gender identity. But how did the capitalist system make you lose your job? You had to talk to the media. We asked them to talk to people of color. People of color? Okay. So, uh, the white people are telling journalists to go speak to people of color because they have no rights to speak here apparently. <laughs> what are you guys doing out here? We would rather you talk to a person of color. Do what? We're not gonna... This is, this is, a, this is the kind of world we live in right now. <laughs> Why are you carrying the Chinese flag? Because I'm a Maoist. Why are you a Maoist? Like, why, why, why does this organization, uh, this Occupy Wall 